Millions of people across the UK will be putting pumpkins on their doorsteps, perhaps on their windowsills, as they prepare for Halloween trick-or-treaters tonight. But what happens to the jack-o'-lanterns come November the 1st? Tomorrow, in other words. New research has found that the UK will bin 8 million pumpkins after Halloween this year. That's the equivalent of enough pumpkin pie to feed the entire nation, as most people who buy them do throw the leftovers away rather than cooking them. Now, listen to this. 58%, more than half of Britons, now buy a pumpkin at this time of year. An estimated 10 million pumpkins are grown in the UK annually. 95% that's practically all of them, are carved out in lanterns for Halloween and the rest are used in recipes. But more than half, these figures are good, aren't they? More than half, just 51% of those who buy the orange-coloured squash throw away the flesh rather than cooking or composting it. Well, that's all according to the environmental charity Hubbub. Well, with me now is Tessa Trix from Hubbub. She runs an annual pumpkin rescue campaign to encourage people to make the most of their Halloween pumpkins. And of course, we have a pumpkin here, just in case you've forgotten what they look like. OK. OK, Tessa, um, what, what's your favourite thought when we consider what we should be doing with these um, once Halloween is over? Well, once Halloween is over, if you have carved out your pumpkin like you have today, I would think you'd be able still to cook with the seeds, which are delicious, if yeah. you've right, there's plenty the seeds, of seeds, there, seeds yeah, there. Yeah, 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 which yeah. you can kind of lightly toss in oil and roast at 180. Delicious snack with a bit of spice and salt. That sounds that sounds extremely nice. Or on, as part of a salad, perhaps. Or on top of a salad, yeah, yeah. or with beer, whatever you whatever you like. Mm. They're very good for you, full mm -hmm. of zinc. Mm. Um, You've got lots of pumpkin guts left here as well, so you could always boil those in some water and make a kind of pumpkin mulling spice. Yeah. Um, but if you've still got the insides that yes. you, you scraped out earlier, then those can go in anything. Pumpkins are a really delicious, versatile ingredient. So soups, stews, curries, and in the shops now, there's going to be an abundance of different types of pumpkins and squash. So I'd really encourage you to cook with those as they're around. So the more petite pumpkins really lend themselves well to kind of cakes and pies, whereas kind of the larger carving pumpkins, which are really good to eat, um, are better for stews and curries. Right, OK. Now, pumpkin soup, you mentioned along mm. the line there, one of my favourites, I have to say. It is absolutely delicious, isn't it? But what, what, what is it about the pumpkin? I mean, why is it, why is it such a sort of glory? Is it, it's not a fruit, it's a squash. You have to be careful to get the right expression, don't you? You do. And I think people are really kind of warm to pumpkins. Clearly, it's their grinning faces. Um, but pumpkin waste is just kind of part of a wider food waste problem year round. So trying to get people to think about eating their pumpkins and actually other ways that they can save on their food mm. bills because mm. if we all kind of planned ahead a bit more or froze our food, we could save up to £810 per year. Right, OK. Now, you said you can eat it. I mean, could you eat it, do you think, raw? Do you think we could do that? What, what, would you recommend or not? Oh, you could well, go why not? I, why don't, I, I don't go? think it would kill you. But no, if well, you... OK. Well, this could be a first on national television, couldn't it? All right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's actually very that's nice. Good. Is it nice? Very, very, Fantastic. Very nice. Okay, well, I've I mean, got a new recipe then. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're welcome to that one. We'll have the absolutely raw. Um, the point about pumpkins is they take an awful lot of water to actually grow them in the first place, are they? They're not just. They're not easy. Th I mean, they are taking an awful mm. lot of, uh, ing if you like, natural ingredients to get them to this state. Well, that's a very good point. So it's you know, if the, if all of the energy and water that's going to go in to grow our pumpkin. Uh, pumpkins for Halloween. Mm. Shouldn't just think of them as an accessory, let's eat them as well. So if you do want a recipe this yeah. Halloween, then you can head to hubbub.org.uk and we've got a plethora of pumpkin recipes for you. OK, lovely. Mm. I thought it was getting stuck in my teeth, but actually, no, <laughs> no they're That's not at all. You're getting oh, one other thing, I, I, mm. somebody mentioned to me squirrels. Apparently squirrels love pumpkins. I so if you want this. squirrels in your garden, not everybody does, but if you want to encourage squirrels, and leave, presumably just leave the old pumpkin out. Yeah, it's perfect. You could put it on the bird hanger, couldn't you? <laughs> if not, put it in your com on your compost heap or in the food waste caddy. Tessa, Trick's very grateful to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lots and lots of good ideas there. Mm. I'm being allowed to eat while I'm in the studio. That's good as well. <laughs>